it's week eight. Um, we just had a big win against Minnesota, had a big shutout, and we're moving on to a, a big game against Michigan at the big house. What's going on, man? I just uh, came from working out. And, um, about to go to class and uh, learn, learn a little bit. Uh, we're in Econ 433, and you're watching the Penn State football story. A lot of guys are, you know, working on their second, you know, working towards their second midterm. A lot of guys have papers due. I know last year I had a ton of work due at this time of the year. I'm going to uh, going to the ice tub right now, trying to get my legs back. They're a little tired from the game on Saturday, so I'm gonna hit the ice tub for 10 minutes, uh, get a stretch in, maybe a little nap, and then it's uh, film time. We have our lifts Sunday and Monday. A lot of guys are lifting and getting, and getting their body back in shape. It's like when you're a little kid and your mom tells you to take the TV off and and, and you really don't want it because you want to watch so bad. It's, it's kind of the opposite of that. <laughs> It's the same, it's just that same routine. Bring it back, bring it back, break it better, break it better, break it better. Come on, break it better. It's been good so far, don't get careless. I think, you know, mid, mid season practice is just like regular practice. So maybe Joe might scale the practice down a little bit. He's, uh, he's worried about our legs at this point. He wants to make sure that everyone's healthy and when it comes to game time on Saturday, that everyone has a fresh set of legs underneath them. in the end zone, touchdown, Penn State. Cut down for a loss of the 10-yard line, 35, 30, Evan, 20, 15, 10. And Syracuse offense has been rather insignificant. It's been this Penn State defense. Touchdown, Penn State, and this joint goes wild. There goes Green, 30, 20, 15, 10. Everything that Illinois does, Penn State has dialed up the right play for it. Stetney Lions cap another long drive and now have total control of the game. Well, I would say successful, you know. Besides, you know, one game I think we really came out and competed uh, defensively and offensively. I mean, and uh, we just had to put the first half behind us and, and go out and finish the next couple games up. Just try to keep going what we had going last week into Big Ten play. Man, just, just reduce it. Consistency, man. Just get the ball and go. Yeah, I thought we've had a great first half of the season other than the one game, and it just shows you uh, when you don't make a lot of mistakes, we can we can play with anybody and, and win any game. Another well-designed play. Penn State, right now the play calling has that rhythm. And Penn State has made a living running the football. Quarterback sneak, touchdown, Penn State! Uh, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's just a tick of the clock right now. We're taking one game uh, as it comes. You know, all the seniors are really excited at where we're at right now. Uh, we, we can't get comfortable where we're at. We want to get better each week, and I think we've done that thus far in the season to this point. So, you know, we're just uh, we're taking it one game at a time and, and making the most of it. Knocked away from Williams, Penn State football. You know, I think as a defense, you know, it's just been real fun that all 11 guys on the field realize that it's, it's not an individual uh, effort out there. You know, anytime you can be a part of something where all 11 guys come together and act as a unit, it's, uh, it's been really special to this point of season and we're looking forward to the second half. I want to say Ali Ogbu knocking the ball loose, getting Varro picking it up and going, what, 90 some yards for a touchdown. Looks far side, now he works up the middle. He's in trouble and spins away still and loses the football recovered by Penn State and on the run. So instead of allowing their first touchdown in the first half all season, the defense scores one. Wow, after 50 yards, I don't know. That was a tough one. I didn't know if he's going to make it. Did you say anything to him afterwards? No, I didn't, but I was, I'll get him. I'll get him on Monday when I see him. Even though it was such a, you know, the game didn't turn out the way it was, I'll say the, the first play of Iowa where, you know, um, Dow just, you know, dropped back, you know, play action and threw a bomb to, to, to Chas Powell. Royster, left side, block from Corals up, throws it deep downfield, wide open, he's got Powell, 30, 20, 15, 10, 5. The opening play from scrimmage for the Nittany Lions, they go 79 yards. That was my favorite play to be honest because we came out first play of the game and we and we set a tone, you know, we didn't finish the game off how we wanted to, but I think that one play was really a memorable moment for me. The catch that Derek made this weekend where he was out of bounds and he kept the one foot in and, and they replayed it at first, they cut it off and they replayed it. That was, was a pretty unbelievable catch. Clark sets, throws for Moy in the end zone, reaches, incomplete. He caught it, but out of bounds. Oh, they're going to review this play. Watch this. Does he have control? That is six, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, Moy. Uh, Moy's catch last week. I just got done watching Sports Center now. They had it at top five today. 
That's, uh, that's going to be one of the great ones to remember this season. Overall, it was a good performance, and, and I think you're right. We did have the ball. We dominated. I think we had the ball almost the whole third quarter. Let's go. It's got to be the shutout last week. You know, uh, we strive for the shutout every week uh, going into Saturday, and last, last week we finally put a performance together that allowed us to do that. So it's fourth and goal. Minnesota's going to go for it. They pitch it to Whaley, sweeping near side, tries to get to the corner, hit and down at the one yard line. The Nittany Lions hold. Uh, I, I think it's a great thing, you know, to get, get a shutout and and whole team zero, you know, because that, that just goes for the, the hard work we did that, that practice and, and really finishing. You know, I know early in the season we were all bummed about not finishing games and, and you know, letting teams score on us late. And I think, you know, we're, we're starting to gel and we're starting to mesh and we're really starting to get how to play, you know, lights out football for all four quarters. I think we just try to move on from it. I mean, we're excited. We'll watch the film from that game and see what we did well, but we still made mistakes. We still have room to improve. I think everyone's played uh, to their expectations right now. It's just our goal right now is to kind of ex exceed our expectations. Especially, you know, being in the big house this week, so I think, you know, we have a, a good challenge, but, you know, we're, we're up to it. Hi, this is Sean Lee. More football story after the break. Highlights from our trip to Michigan. Stay tuned.